Hi there. I don't know if anybody's online. Um, it's almost 7 o'clock, and I just wanted to say hi this evening from my studio here in California on this spring day. So I was thinking, because um, I spent all day on my computer, and I don't know what you all have done, but I've been on the computer a lot today, more than I want to be. I'd rather be taking Shavasana. <laughs> so what I thought I would show you tonight is an easy shoulder stretch. So you will need a yoga belt, a yoga strap. I have here a D-ring belt from Hugger Mugger. And I tend to like the D-ring ones better. They're metal, so you can hit yourself in the face um, if you're not careful. But I find that they're easier to use. I have trouble sometimes with the other types, the ones that go up and over. I don't know why I get a little dyslex dyslexic with them. So you're not going to need to belt the belt tonight. So you could just use a long belt of any kind. I just have something here that's just um, part of a yoga belt. But you could use an old tie or a bathrobe belt if you wanted to. So let me show you how to do the shoulder stretch. You're going to take the strap belt, take it and figure out how long you need to go to go up and over. Okay. And do a little stretch. So. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. Now, if you find that you're using the strap and you're going inhale, bend, bend, bend to go all the way down, you need to have more room. So inhale and exhale and inhale. And exhale all the way up and over. Okay, just a couple more times. Inhale and exhale. Let's do two more times. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale and exhale. Last time. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now, we're going to go to where I call the bump. You're going to inhale up, and it's usually just about over your head and back. I'm just going to stretch here for a moment. It's kind of like, oh, I can feel the day on me on the computer. Then, just feel this for a moment. Stretch out those shoulders. Now, take your right arm up, reach up, and then just take this strap and go back. Oh, feeling that shoulder. Then bring it back over. Bring it up on overhead. Your left arm is up. Take the right arm back. And come on back to center. Come all the way back up. We'll do it one more time. Right arm up and left arm back. And bring it back over and left arm up and right arm back yeah then take it back up and you just go side to side side to side and there's one more actually i'm sure you went without a strap because this one uh, you know if you don't have a strap handy you can just all try this Take your arms out to the side. Now take your arms over each other. You're not going to do Garudasana. Turn the palms. Interlace. Now bring your hands in and out. In and out. And your hands might go in and get stuck here. But that's coming from the shoulders. So this is a really nice way to get a shoulder stretch at your desk. Now we'll switch, take the other arm over, turn, 
interlace, take it in and out, in and out. Again, remember, your arms may just get stuck about here, but just keep on just going slow and steady rather than pushing it, okay? So, there you go. Shoulders feel nice and stretched out and might be ready to either wind down, get ready for bed, or if you're on the other side of the world, you might be just getting up. So, open shoulders always helps my neck and upper back. And since I spend too much time on the computers and too much time in my car driving and not as much time as I'd like on my rope wall or on my mat, it's always good to open the shoulders, polish the heart. So just saying hi from California. Hope that we can say hi again. I am thinking about doing a weekly broadcast, so let me know if you're interested in this, and we'll come say hi again. And till next time, have a good one. Bye.